Today's Daily Dose of Math is about minimum, maximum, and range, which are words, terms, that a student has to learn when they're starting to learn statistics. The math concepts are easy. The only trick here is to make sure that the student recognizes the terminology. Minimum is the smallest number in the set of data that you're looking at. Maximum is the largest number in that set of data. And the range is the difference between the largest and the smallest number. So you get the range by subtracting the minimum from the maximum. Here we have three sets of data, A, B, and C. And for each, we're being asked for the minimum, the maximum, and the range. So for A, the data has been arranged from smallest to largest, which makes this easier for us. We can see that the minimum, the lowest number is 10. And the maximum is 37. The range is therefore 37 minus 10, which is 27. We've answered the question. In B, we have not had the favor done for us of having the numbers arranged from smallest to largest. So that we have to be a little bit more careful because we could choose the wrong number and get a wrong answer on what was an easy question. That would be sad. So I think the best thing to do is to rewrite the data so that it does go from smallest to largest. So the smallest number I see is a three. I can't see a four. So the next number will be this five. There are actually three sixes. So I have to count all three of those because they're all part of the data. Crossing out the numbers as I use them is a good way to stay organized and avoid making a mistake. The only other single digit number is an eight. And then getting it to double digits, we have 11, 14, and 17. Cross them out. Oh, there's another eight. I made a mistake. So put the eight that was missing. Now I cross it out. 11, 14 still fit, 17 still there. I'm okay. And now I have 20, 21, and 31. And because I'm fussy, I want to cross those out. And in doing so, I discovered, oh, there's this 25. I missed it. Watch out. Easy to make a small mistake, which will ruin your answer, depending on which number you forget to include. 20, 21, 25, and finally 31. And we can see the numbers well, and it becomes just as easy to answer now as it was with A. The smallest number is 3. The largest number is 31. The range is 31 minus 3, which is 28. I've answered the question. Now C, again the numbers are not given in order from smallest to largest, so we're going to have to reorder them. But also these numbers have decimals, so we just want to slow down when we do our subtraction to make sure we don't make a mistake with that. The lowest numbers I'm seeing are two 3.9s. Then we have 4.2 and 4.4, 5.0, 6.0, 6.1. I didn't bother writing the point O's here. 7.2, 7.3. 8.8 and 9.1. Very hard to write at the very bottom of the whiteboard and I don't know how well it can be seen either. So there we go. I have my numbers written in order. The smallest is 3.9, the largest is 9.1. Three point nine, nine point one. The range is nine point one minus three point nine. Again, not easy to write at the very bottom of the chalkboard, and is it showing? 
The difference is 5.2. Use calculator as necessary to make sure you don't make a mistake. So that is all there is to it. Minimum, maximum, and range are easy concepts to give the answers, but you have to know the terminology, and then you have to be careful when you are finding your minimum, maximum, and calculating your range to make sure that the numbers are ordered from smallest to largest. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.